Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Um, just before I jump into what this video is about, I wanted to just mention two things. Uh, one, I had a slight gap here where I wasn't um, producing traditional Terranscapes videos regularly, um, and that's partly due to um, wrapping up the GT work. Um, if you um, are new to the channel, you'll see some of those recent GT videos, uh, and um, there was a lot of editing to do and a lot of color fixing. Learned a lot about shooting video on the road, if you will. Learned a lot. Great experience. What a what a fantastic opportunity, actually, to um, try out something really new and uh, see how that came out. Um, so I'm back, and I have a long list of videos to shoot. Uh, so expect some regular output coming up. Uh, two, some of you may have noticed the Terranscapes website has changed. If you've been there recently, um, there are a lot of changes that are sort of in process right now, and I'm not going to talk about them just yet. But I have an update, sort of. How's things going? update video uh, coming up uh, shortly. So um, we'll hold that off for that discussion then. And uh, right now we're going to take a look at um, some hedges that I recently redid. Uh, they are um, slight modifications uh, from the ones uh, that I've done in the past. I think they look a little bit better. And um, also two fountains. I redid the uh, regular fountain as well as the corrupted fountain. And I think um, the changes that I've done on those has uh, stepped them up a small notch as well. So um, let's head over to the workbench. Let's take a look at them and I'll show you them in a little more detail. So here's a look at the two uh, fountains that are, you know, my newest ones, basically. Um, you've seen the corrupted fountain and the regular fountain before if you're a, a long-time uh, Terranscapes viewer. Um, but I did make a few changes uh, over the previous one, um, particularly for the corrupted fountain. I decided to add a little bit different texture to the uh, resin. This is Envirotex resin, and I've tinted it with both paint and ink, um, although I wonder if the ink isn't really needed because the paint made it um, pretty opaque. Um, in any case, then um, what I did is I decided last time I had hung some uh, Woodland Scenics polyfiber down from the top, and I think that it just didn't look dark enough, not somber enough. So I decided to hang uh, basically painted cotton off of it, and I think that worked out uh, a lot better. And then around the edge, I've put in um, some uh, more vine-like vegetation rather than the clumps of foliage that I had in the original piece. And you can kind of see, um, as a contrast between the two pieces, how much more I darkened this down. And actually, I ended up darkening, darkening the regular fountain uh, down quite a bit as well. It um, actually, I painted it with a quite a, a very bright blue-gray, which you can kind of see some of that um, in the highlights here. And once I was finished, I realized it just really looked too bright. So I went in with some um, washes to, um, you know, add some weathering to the edges of all of the uh, crown pieces here and um, also to kind of accent some of the uh, ridges and the shadows in that, although technically of course that wouldn't be a shadow, but you get the idea. Um, and I did do um, a little bit different uh, texturing on the water than I've done in the past, a little bit more uh, detailed. So a um, couple uh, final thoughts on the painting. This is the first time I've painted this piece with an airbrush and the um, the idea being that I wanted to uh, basically paint these smooth surfaces a lot more evenly. Um, it's a difficult piece to dry brush because of the softness, uh, the smoothness, I should say, of the surfaces, except maybe, say, around the faces. And I thought that the airbrush would be um, a great way to go about it, and I really did like it in the end. Uh, I was able to, you know, come in and, and, you know, sort of bring that highlight out on those peaks. Um, and um, I did um, this actually at the same base color as this, and then darkened it from there, and you can see how much uh, it shifted. I'd tell you how I darkened this. This is going to sound funny. I don't remember. Um... Hmm. I don't think it was uh, model mates. I think I put a wash through the airbrush. Mm -hmm. So 
it'll be a mystery. I could recreate it in the future with a little bit of playing around, but it was um, funny when I was thinking about it one night and I was like, I don't know what I did. Anyway, then um, I also, um, hopefully we'll be able to see that. I also did a little pre-shading on the stones inside there with the airbrush before I filled it. And um, I think it just adds a small uh, improvement to that as well. So that gives you a look at the uh, fountains and we'll take a look at another piece. So here you can see, whoop, George Hare, I think. So here you can see the um, hedges that I've recently done. A uh, customer ordered the sort of normal hedges uh, rather than the bramble ones I used to have listed on the site. And uh, I never really was quite satisfied with them. Uh, shocker. And uh, what I decided to do with this is uh, take a tip. Actually, it was great timing. I saw Rubbish In, Rubbish Out's video on the hedges he was making. A little quick tutorial. I'll put a link to it right here so you can go check it out. And um, his scouring pad which is what I had been using in the past and still do, was uh, quite a bit thicker than the one that I have had, uh, that I have, I should say, and I've been using for the hedges. So the hedges were quite a bit thinner, and I kind of would bulk them out with a little bit of um, coarse uh, turf, and it gave it kind of a soft and fuzzy feel, and I didn't really like it, but I wasn't sure what to do. So after seeing Rubbish In, Rubbish Out's video, thank you, um, I... Uh, doubled up the pieces of the um, scouring pad and that um, gave it I think a much better proportion then um, I actually painted them George hi George okay okay come on come on come on come on uh, when he comes in he kind of demands attention anyway he was outside most of the day um, then what I did is I um, I did paint the interior hoping that um, some of the interior would come through and I'm just whoa hey hi hey hi um. okay all right we're gonna ease all that back into place <sighs> new light new light too light I guess uh, wow okay well we'll we'll leave that running there all right Anyway, I'll, let me wrap it up. Um, and then I gave them a, uh, a dusting with um, some uh, uh, fine turf, uh, cor uh, fine uh, blah, 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 fine flock, basically, they're fine turf, and then um, dusted them with some knock leaves. These are um, kind of oval shaped little uh, bits uh, that. <clears throat> sort of give the impression of leaves and I thought that would add some nice uh, texture to them and I really like the effect that it gave and I looked at a lot of photos of all sorts of different hedges and I realized that boy there's a lot of different kinds of plants that people use to make hedges in real life and so I think this uh, uh, was you know gave me some freedom I should say in order to do these in the past real quick before I go I used to put in some vegetation along the bottoms and um, I decided not to do that in this case because the they um, are so short now, you know, the distance is so thin that um, trying to cram in um, a little bit of vegetation there, I think, would look um, a little forced. So I left those blank, and um, you can see I'm now uh, using a um, cast resin uh, for the base, a cast uh, urethane plastic, and uh, that way I can cut these, cut these, cast these a little bit quicker than um, what I had been doing before, which was cutting a uh, hard board, and then I'd have to sand it and all of that. So um, that gives you a look at, oh man, he got dirt. Well, all right, anyway, <laughs> I just cut this paper. This is a brand new sheet. In any case, that's what a cat is for. Uh, that gives you a look at the hedges. So that gives you a uh, quick look at the uh, fountains and the hedges. Um, some minor changes, but I think they do um, help bring a little more life to those pieces, actually. And um, I uh, just want to say, um, again, stay tuned to the channel. Lots more content to come up. And if you are um, new to the channel, uh, welcome. Hopefully you find something here that you enjoy. I want to thank you for joining me. And down below is all that contact info. Um, just a quick uh, comment on Twitter. Um, it is a sort of one-way exchange. I don't answer comments on Twitter or, or tweets or whatever um, because uh, it's, I already have enough things I'm trying to respond to. Uh, but um, I haven't been updating it quite as regularly. But then I realized I think people like to see more photos. Um, so I'll be trying to uh, tweet things that I think will be more interesting and maybe tweet less as a result. And most of you probably don't care. So 
no problem. Um, anyway, I think that's it. So uh, let's wrap it up, and I will see you again soon in another Terranscapes video. made me happy because, you know, always incremental progress. People always say, I'll never be able to do X, Y, Z. You never do it the first time. Um, you build every time uh, you try it. And uh, doing small projects lets you try them more times. Uh, that's just a little tip added on at the end here. So um, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at them. Um, you can uh, uh, reach me on, uh, reach me. You can't reach me. You can watch me. And, well, you can 